Troll Trouble is the first segment of the sixth episode of the first and only season of Mickey Mouse Fun House. And this is quite nice. This is one that definitely speaks to the target audience. Funny transports the gang to um, one of my favourite locations and and go to this fantasy land where King Ludwig has called upon them to help get the grumpy troll from being grumpy. Because the troll is not usually grumpy, he's the troll who lives under the bridge, but for some reason he's been really cranky. And it's up to the Sensational Six to find out why. And obviously they're wearing their fantastic Renaissance-esque costumes, visually I think they look great. Ludwig is king. Also I'm aware it's Lud Ludwig, I will always pronounce it as Ludwig unintentionally. Um, yeah, I think he fit the role very well, I thought it worked quite nicely. With regards to the troll, um... They have to try and work out why he is grumpy and they all go through all of these different things that can make a person feel grumpy. For example, um, Daisy, I believe, said that she always felt grumpy when she was hungry. And they try and see if these are various solutions to the problem. And I'll explain in a moment what the problem was. It'll, I'll give you a spoiler warning. Because I feel it's important to discuss the message that is being given. Um, but it, it's an interesting thing for young children to relate to because children feel grumpy and they don't necessarily know why. I mean, adults feel grumpy and we don't know why, but I think we're better most of the time at, at least trying to work out why we're, you know, our mood's dropping. Usually it's because we're hungry. Um, but it, it allows children to know that this feeling is something that they can feel and it's okay to feel that. But more importantly, it's okay to try and work out why you feel like this and to resolve this problem. I don't want to say the troll represents every child, but let's face it, that's kind of what's being represented here. So I thought it was quite educational, given the kind of fantasy twist. Um, I say fantasy, there's not that much fantasy in it, apart from maybe the troll, I guess. Um, but the, the more renaissance aspect of it, I think, worked quite well visually. It's not a bad episode. So the spoiler, I'm about to explain why the troll was grumpy. And the troll was grumpy or grouchy because he was filthy and he was covered in mud. And we realise or learn through Donald Duck that if you become really muddy and you feel really irritable because of it, having a bath and getting clean can make you feel much better. And that in itself is, of course, an important message. But the true message here is that it's not, you know, there's no need to be scared of baths. Bath time can be fun. And the troll is actually really scared of going in the water. He's never had a bath before and that's why he's filthy. But the gang managed to persuade him to go into the bath. And when he's in the water, he actually really likes it. And the message there, of course, is that bath times can be fun. Getting clean can be a great feeling. And you don't really need to be scared of the water. Obviously, it's important to be cautious around water and children should never be left unattended, etc. But a lot of children are going to be quite scared of going in the water. Um, I mean, most children have been in baths before they're old enough to protest. But certainly a lot of children will kick up a fuss about being in baths. I, I actually don't know how I felt about baths when I was younger. But as an adult, I hate being in water. I absolutely hate it. I do bath, don't worry. But I hate, I hate the feeling. And I think a lot of children are, are kind of similar. So it's a great way to encourage children to, to have a bath, basically. Um... It works well. It's definitely not as educational as, say, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, but the message is strong, and if it speaks to children, then I think it's doing a good thing. 